Hello guys, welcome to Synapse 101, your weekly dose of neurology lectures and tutorials. So today, I will be discussing the gross anatomy of the brain. Let us define some terms. A groove is called sulcus. A deeper groove is called fissure. A convolution like this is called gyrus. To begin, let us orient you first. So this is your anterior aspect of the cerebral hemisphere and this is the posterior aspect. This is the left cerebral hemisphere and this is the right cerebral hemisphere separated by the longitudinal fissure. The brain is divided into different lobes and there are important landmarks to note. One is the central sulcus of Rolando. Anything in front of the central sulcus of Rolando is frontal lobe and behind it is parietal lobe. Anterior to the central sulcus of Rolando is the pre-central gyrus which is designated as Broadman's area 4 which functions as the primary motor cortex after which is a pre-central sulcus. Anterior to the pre-central gyrus, there are three frontal gyra to note. The superior frontal gyrus, the middle frontal gyrus, and the inferior frontal gyrus. Clinically, the superior frontal gyrus has important regions like number one, our frontal eye field, designated as Broadman's area 8, responsible for horizontal gaze, which we will discuss in subsequent videos. Number two, dorsolateral prefrontal cortex or Broadman's area 9 and 46, used for motor planning. And lastly, the anterior prefrontal cortex used for higher calculation. The superior frontal gyrus is separated from the middle frontal gyrus by the superior frontal sulcus. The middle frontal gyrus is separated from the inferior frontal gyrus by the middle frontal sulcus. On the left hemisphere, which is usually our dominant hemisphere, the Broca's area is in the inferior frontal gyrus. This area is called your pars orbitalis and this horizontal ramus separates it from your pars triangularis and the ascending ramus separates the pars triangularis from pars opercularis. The Broca's area is made up of two regions, the pars orbitalis, which is your Broadman's area 44, and the pars triangularis, which is your Broadman's area 45. So that summarizes the lateral aspect of the frontal lobe. 